are two of the newest gimbals on the market right now. The Ziyun Weevil Lab and its bigger brother, the Crane 3 Lab. So I know there's a lot of people interested in these two gimbals but can't really decide which one is right for them. But don't worry because I spent the past two months using these two gimbals to really put them to the test so I can see the differences between them. So I'm going to try to help you guys out today. So to keep it simple, pretty much it's gonna come down your preferences and your camera setup. For example, do you have a light setup or a heavy setup? Light, go with the Weeble. Heavy, well, you don't really have a choice. You gotta go with the Crane 3. Do you plan on traveling a lot? If so, go with the Weeble. It's much more compact and travel friendly. Or maybe you have a full production set with a big crew. If so, go with the Crane 3. This is going to be much more professional for your needs and you're probably going to be using cinema cameras anyway so yeah just go with the crane 3. What the Weeble doesn't have is its own fixed handle like the Crane 3. And with this fixed handle, you're able to control a lot more settings. So with this handle, you have new buttons back here to control all your camera settings such as your ISO, shutter speed, aperture. You can do all that with this handle. And behind the handle, you have what's called a zoom rocker. So the Crane 3 includes a focus motor and a zoom motor. And with the zoom, you can control that with this right here behind the handle. And yes, you're able to control the focus and zoom at the same time. Now, I'm not gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison between these two gimbals in terms of smoothness because I've used these two gimbals for the past three months or so at weddings and events, and I never noticed a difference. They both got smooth shots, and that was pretty much it. There was no difference. But if I really did have to choose which one was more smooth, maybe the Crane 3. Maybe, maybe. I don't know the science behind this, but I think the heavier your setup is, the smoother your shot's gonna be. Like I said, I don't know if it's true or not, and someone can correct me, but if you guys remember back in the days when gimbals wasn't a thing yet, all we had was glide cams. Y'all remember that? The big, big steady cam? That's all we had. When I used a glide cam back in the day, I noticed the more weights I put on the glide cam, the more smooth my shot was. Another thing I noticed when using lighter setups is Sometimes you tend to get this walking up and down motion because your body naturally moves up and down when you're walking or running. Well, I don't really think you get that too much with heavy setups like the Glycam or in this case, the Crane 3. So like I said, if I really had to choose which one was more smooth, I might give a slight edge to the Crane 3 because of the reasons I listed. But remember, I don't know if it's true or not, so it's just my opinion. But regardless, they're both great gimbals and they're both going to get you great shots. I will say though, if you're having a hard time getting a smooth shot with either of these gimbals, you're going to want to mess with the gimbal settings a little bit. The default factory settings on these gimbals aren't really the best and even I struggled a little bit when I first used these gimbals. But once you download the ZY Play app by Ziyun and adjust the settings to your preference, you're going to have a much better experience and get way more smooth shots. In terms of everything else, they're both pretty much the same. All right, they're both going to get you great battery life, going to last you all day, a few days actually. 
Uh, they both got the locks on them so you can lock them up and travel with them. Both got the underslung mode so you can get the low shots. They're both pretty much the same, right? Really depends on what you want and what kind of camera you have. For. And if you guys still want to know what I prefer, I said it in my other video and I still stand by it. The Weevo Lab is what I'm going with because of how small it is. Look how compact this thing is. I travel everywhere with this gimbal. I do weddings, events. I take this thing everywhere. This is my favorite gimbal, the Weebo Lab. So that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope I helped you guys out, figure out which gimbal is a better fit for you. But uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys next time, all right? Peace.